Okay, while we have the Z-Rig set up, let's uh, start to look at how we capture progress. Now, what I've done is pull back here until you can see the two pulleys are getting close together, and that's called collapse. So that would be, of course, total collapse. But once we get there, what do we do? Well, the idea is something has to hold the load. Now I'm going to release it. So we can get slack in this and slide it up, get another bite, and then pull everything back again. That's called a reset every time you have to move this up on the rope. So what we're doing is just reaching up, pulling in rope, reaching up, pulling in rope, reaching up, pulling in rope. But we've got to have some way to secure the progress we've made or capture as it's called. So we're going to look at some uh, progress capture devices. The first one is just going to be a prussic. And I'm going to hook that prussic in right here and attach it to one of these ropes and it's going to hold our progress so it'll re we can release this and get that reset. The question is, where do I want to put this to capture the progress? This is my pull line. We don't want to put it on a pull line. If I attach the prussic here around the pull line, notice what happens. I've, I've got this tied up. It, it won't move out. It's locked me up. I can't put it here because this is just going to slide through the prussic. So the only choice I've got is to chase down my haul line. See it coming in here? That's where you want to put the prussic. So it's going to go from here to here. So let me do that real quick. What I'm going to do is put this here, and uh, that's not just exactly right. It should be a little bit shorter, but that's the shortest one I had made up, so I'm just going to go with it. It'll do it. It'll just have a little play in it. So we put it there, and we collapse the system. Here we go. And what's supposed to happen if it were tighter? The prussic minding pulley makes the hitch slide down the rope, but when you release, Notice what happens. It grabs the rope and it's attached right here so the rope's being held. And see all this slack now? I can slide this up as far as I can or as far as I want to and pull in some more. And I've got it again. It didn't catch that time and sometimes that can be an issue. It may not catch. And I probably just need it tighter. So we can just keep doing that until our load's in where we want it. Uh, when we get this thing right, and uh, it needs to be a little tighter, and we get it snugged up good, it's pretty much automatic. That's the way it should work. And we just keep pulling in rope and moving this out and getting the next reset until we get our load in the position we want it in. So that's one method. Okay, here's another method of capturing progress, and this time it's done with hardware. And what I've done is replaced just a pulley with a Petzl Mini Traction. And let me zoom in there and show you how that thing works, and uh, that'll help understand what's going on. Okay, you should be getting a pretty good view of what the traction looks like. This uh, side plate slides open and you put the rope in and here's a pulley and here's what does all the capturing for us. If I push down on this red button, that comes in against the rope and as you can see holds it. However, it will let it go this way and then it locks down. And it's got a lockout position so you can lock it out here. And uh, let me just explain one of the issues when you use something like this. If you've got it like that, you certainly can capture the progress. The problem comes is what if you need to release the load a little bit? Now you have to pull your system with this thing unlocked and if it gets away from you, all you can do is slam that down and hope. This thing is rated for holding about 500 pounds. I don't know if that's exactly it, but it's close to 500 pounds, so it's not something you want to put a lot of shock loading on. So. Uh, if you ever have an opportunity to use one of these things, kind of be aware that it's more or less for just uh, some light loads less than 500 pounds.
we don't want to shock load this thing. If you start ripping the cover on the rope, it may be a total failure. But I'll zoom back out and show you how this thing would capture progress. Okay, here's our Z-Rig, and I have the uh, traction lock disengaged. So if I pull and release, I don't get any capture. But if I drop that down, I pull, and I'm actually pulling load. I've got a uh, light load on the end of the rope. You can see I've captured that, and I can now slide this out, reset, and pull it again. And I can keep doing that until I've got the load where I want it. Now, to get this released or to let the load down some, if something went wrong and you had to let it down, when we unlock that, all we got is our hands holding that. If you had a prussic on here, you could hold this, just hold the prussic back. If we thought it was going to get away from us, we could just turn loose and the prussic would grab. Or even better, and this is a much better technique, and again, I'm not teaching rescue load handling rigging techniques. You pull the prussic toward the load and it causes it to catch. So this is a nice device to have. There's a mini traction and a, a full size traction. A little bit bigger, it's a much more efficient pulley, uh, both in size and uh, bearing. So that's a good way to capture progress, but it does have a few drawbacks, and just about everything does.